All right, folks, I don't know when I'm ever gonna get around to it, so I'm just gonna get on with it now. We've opened up some of our cars that I bought recently. We're starting off with this one right here. This is the uh, 2017 Acura NSX in red. Here it is. It's a nice car. They're all nice, or I wouldn't have got them. Nice, I like it. All right, next up, Audi. 84 Audi Sport Quattro, let's go. I wish they painted the tail lights. They went that far. Should have painted those tail lights, man. That is part of the molding on the hood there. That is not paint. I like that. Next, we have another Audi. This is a 94 Audi Avant RS2 in blue. Nice details there in the front. Woo! Look at that car. I think I changed the lenses there by accident. Yeah, it looks a little grainy in it. All right, I'll pick this one up because it looks like a Pantera. I'm a big Pantera fan. See, got a Pantera up there on the wall. Let's zoom in. Wow. Man, which camera lens am I on here? Nice going iPhone Pro Max 13. But there we are. This one is called the uh, blah, 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 blah. The Machini Velocity. Sorry to butcher the language there. It's cool. Looks a whole lot like a Pantera, doesn't it? Mm. I remember when Hot Wheels made the La Fasta. I picked a bunch of those up. It looks a whole lot like a Pantera. Yeah. Yeah, must be based on something similar. This is probably the coolest one of the bunch here to me. Um, I think a lot of people I knew had this pickup in real life when I was growing up. Auto World Chevy pickup. And here we go. What a lovely machine. Just a freaking great casting. This thing's heavy. Very heavy. Very detailed. Ooh, this tailgate opens nice and tight. Accurate width on the tires. Looks just like a real pickup, doesn't it? Very good job. Very, very good job. Rubber tires. I didn't really take a look at the interior, but yeah, it's nice. Just really, it's just my favorite one of this bunch here. Okay. Anyway, so that's that Chevy pickup. We got a Hummer. GMC Hummer EV. Kevin already had this one. He picked these 11 cars to open up a couple days ago. He actually let Claire open this one because he had already opened his and she was driving him crazy, so. I want to open one, Daddy. I want to open one. It's 
It's got a skateboard in the back. Okay, what do we have here? What kind of car is that? Jaguar XC SV Project 8. All right. Oh, it's dark. Super dark. Super glossy. I mean, the whole thing's just blacked out, isn't it? There we go. Got a little detail there on the back. Side of the front. Most of these cars are just kind of flat on the bottom, aren't they? Ah, Mercedes. Mercedes Benz 500E. This is like a 90s. I don't know. I don't know Mercedes products very well. But, uh, look at this, man. I was really putting the detail on the front of these cars now. And then the other ones, they won't put any detail. It's, uh, got mirrors on the side. Again, very flat, undetailed on the bottom. That's okay. Who cares? Nobody cares. Now we have a super silhouette. What is Liberty Walk? S14? No, S15. LB Super Silhouette Nissan Silvia. Crank out the boost. I had an S12 for a long time. And it's up there, tucked away behind that light. Yep. Anyway, there we go. I like the blacked out taillights and headlights. It looks like the taillights and the headlights may be part of the uh, the window cast. Porsche 911 GT3. And I'm almost done making my video here. We are... Wow, wow look at the paint on these two cars. Almost the same. Very close. How about this one? Oh, we might have a match here. Very, very close. So there we go. We have some detailed headlights. Detailed license plate, tail lights and whatnot. We'll have a smooth bottom. Oh, big surprise. Kelvin's here next to me. Looks like a lot of these vehicles, just there's not very detailed on the bottom anymore. And we have a Range Rover. Velar, Velar, how we say it. And there we go. We have some nice details on that one too. It's all blacked out. Ha! <sighs> yeah, they're going with a very smooth bottom on all of these cars. We only have three more here. I wasn't originally going to cover these, but I'm making this video and I might as well get it up. We have some Matchbox moving parts vehicles here. Let's start with the 2016 BMW i8, a very expensive car, somewhere in the $130,000 range. And uh, it's pretty cool. My issue with this casting is the door colors don't match the body. And I feel like that was just... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're made of a different material, but they don't match. You tell me in the comments, are they supposed to be like that? I've seen these in real life and the only one I've ever seen is a white one. I see it quite often too. This is a 2020 Corvette and this is a $60,000 car. And, uh, there's you go. You got a, a look at the uh, engine back there. It looks pretty good. Nice detailed taillights and front. Okay. Um, I didn't do this one because these doors are not easy to open with one hand. So maybe at the end of the video, I'll try to come back and open those doors. Or maybe I won't. <laughs> okay, we have a 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. And this is my favorite of these three. It's just a slick looking car. Yep. Mm. 
Nice. Opening doors. Anyway, I'm at 10 minutes here, so I'm going to wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. I did buy an extra car here, but I didn't realize I already have this one. So, I kept the receipt. I'm going to have to take it back to Walmart where I bought it. Walmart. There we go. And you can see there's the uh, there's the Rowan already had. And I got a white one and I got a yellow one. <sighs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hey, y'all haven't seen the studio in a while. I narrowed down my Hot Wheels to just my favorite ones. Of course, we got all our tons of Legos here. Anyway, we're working on some uh, other items here. Puzzles, model cars. There we go. There's some of our other stuff. A little convenience store I'm working on. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you.